Let's Tharsis. Excellent. Let's, well, for me, find out what this is all about. There's a little story at the beginning, if I remember rightly. Ah. Very nice artwork. The music's amazing as well. Excellent. Okay, right. Here we go then. Just prepare to die. <laughs> My first game lasted about 60 seconds. <laughs> right then. Okay, sorry, I'm just having to check here that this is coming through all right, but it looks like it is. Streaming to three separate platforms sometimes is a bit awful. <laughs> Slightly gnarly, yes. Plus you have to contend with, you know, me influencing the die roll again. Well, yeah, there is that. Um, I'd just like to introduce Rob. This is my friend Rob. You might have seen him in One Deck Dungeon, or virtually seen him in One Deck Dungeon. Um, he's here back tonight so that he can play Tharsis, which I've just bought in the Steam sale for all of a quid or whatever it was. Um, we're quite good used to playing dice games, but this one is evil. <laughs> Excellent. It is uh, it is striking me a little as somewhere of a cross between One Deck Dungeon and possibly, um, well, FTL, I suppose, brings to mind as another horribly difficult but even more addictive roguelike, um, which I'd have to say, aside, if you've not played, do go and try it. It's pennies these days and it's brilliant. Excellent. That's something I need to do as well then. Um if uh, Mark says hi, by the way, uh, if you want to chat with Rob directly, you need to be in Twitch. I can see all of the chats, but Rob can only see Twitch, so don't abuse him in YouTube. I am, unlike Jenny, not a wonderful multitasker. <laughs> oh, thank you to Mr. Weed Wacky, who has just given us a hundred Danish kroner, which I think is like a pound, which was just paid for the game. So thank you, sir. Brilliant. <laughs> Much, Much appreciated. appreciated. <laughs> Right, let's start a new game. As I say, just prepare to die. Um, I don't know whether I can do the story again, but the story is basically that we need to get people to Mars. Okay. So this is my list of idiots that I have unlocked. Oh, Mr. <laughs> Weedwacky says it's more like £10, so thank you very much indeed. That's very much appreciated. Really it's people like him who keep these sort of streams going. Um, so Rob will be expected a percentage as well, by the way. If I should... <laughs> What I'm thinking is that um, that money from my live streams over the next few days might just go to charity. I'm thinking of sending it to a food bank. So, um, yeah, I haven't set up my proper charity stream yet, but that kind really, of feels like sounds, a decent thing to do. Sounds like a really good cause. So, um, yeah, here are my astronauts, and they all have various skills and things. So I have a doctor who can give plus one health which is really really important in my experience she, got, she can get into a module and with a particular dice roll can give everybody in the room one more health um, mm. I have somebody who can with a particular dice roll give everybody else one more die which is unbelievably important I've got somebody a commander here who can repair things a bit more easily and you'll see you'll see <laughs> so Fantastic. I, I there is a little bit of me, I have to admit, wants to see what happens when you take a psychologist to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a stress levels I'm as sorry, well. Cannibal. Um, y uh, y well, what? yes. Yeah, if if food gets a bit <laughs> short, the, there is there is that option. But you'll see. You'll, you'll once you've got it, you'll you'll get yeah, it. But, I just, but it's just the fact to... that they start as a cannibal, not that they're driven to it. But it's <laughs> yeah, I've just got a hankering for crew members. Yes. Yeah. No, I haven't unlocked Sophia yet, because as you can see, I haven't really gone down that road, but... I can live with that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all live with that. 
So, uh, yeah, what I'll do is I will just... I'm going to take out Alison and I'm going to put in Nikki because I think that you have slightly more chance. But in any, in any we've got no chance, so I don't know why I'm even telling you this. Fair enough. <laughs> we've got no chance whatsoever. So it, I, I don't... I think I've played normal mode, like, once... And hard mode, God knows how horrific that must be. But let's let's just play easy mode. I've just realised we can see the tutorial again. So uh, so settle in. Excellent. Tharsis, I understand, is a bit of Mars. To the this briefing will give oh, you there we go. That's my astronomy fact for the day. And success of our mission. To research the anomaly on Mars. Above all else, it is your job to keep the ship and the crew functional and well. Well, even if we can't get to Mars, hopefully it will lead to some so we have to be at our best horribly comedic deaths. <laughs> it will. <laughs> <laughs> Regular maintenance keeps our ship in good working order. Performing maintenance tasks is done by using a crew member's dice to combat any problems that arise. Just in case you hadn't realised, that's where the uh, dice are shown. Gotcha. Yep. Useful. Um, a UIO warning. Hmm. Alright, so she's only got one die, so what use is she? To choose the module. Finally, click deploy to move cross into the module. She is frankly barely useless, but but f you see that four? You see that four there? That's nonsense. Yep. Yeah, it, they won't be four. They'll be thirty-four. Right. I think you might be about six seconds behind me, so hopefully you've heard that explanation now saying that uh, if we don't manage to roll a four, we're all dead. I just caught it. Yep. Lovely. In the middle, Hud, Impending the damage. Work has to be done to repair an okay, attack. one piece. Undocking inhibit. Begun to loosen due to command errors. That doesn't sound good in the slightest. So we will get absolutely loads of these. You would not believe how crap this spaceship is. I'm, these people must have picked it up like on Gumtree or something, because it's because it's the shittiest spaceship you've ever seen in your life. <sighs> One spaceship free to good owner. It's awful. So I'm going to roll these dice, and you will see straight away that it's just a basic one deck dungeon mechanic. Okay. So I rolled a four, and I can just pick it up, and I can repair. Good. And it's done it. Excellent. Is it the same mechanic that it's just a single die? You can't use multiple die? Correct, yes. Well, it, for that at least. For that one. Yay! We live to panic another day. <laughs> I'm going to send my chemist over to the life support module. module has an ability okay. that can help the ship or the crew. Why? Using module abilities is ah, handled for... similarly to fixing right. problems on the ship. Roll now and place a die in the module ability slot Punish to replenish die. some of Musgrave's dice. Each module ability requires a die of a specific value be used. Note the iconography to see which dice are valid. Okay then. So rather than them getting skills, the various different modules are effectively the skills. Exactly. That's exactly it. Now, Musgrave only has one, which is rubbish, mm. but it's okay, because if I pop... I'm the, again, I'm just aware you're slightly behind, so hopefully um, you'll see what yep, I'm doing here. Help the crew in a different way. Learn how to use module abilities yes, to she's only ambitions. got one die, but you appear to have two that you can roll. Oh no, she's... Right. Ah, so you can turn it into two twos. I can. So each of the modules on the spaceship has um, an extra couple of things that you can do to help out the crew members. So when you've finished your repairs, you might put your, as, as Mark says, it's like Yahtzee in space. You can put your, <laughs> your um, that's exactly what I was thinking as well. You can put your extra dice into things like <clears throat> research and life support and 
creating food, but we will see that in a moment. Right. Everyone has finished with their tasks. The remaining active events will play out. Okay then. If J Cross hadn't fixed the event in flight control, it would have caused damage to the ship's hull at this time. The remaining. There are several types ah, so you have to pick which ones you're going to do, basically. To mm -hmm. Reduce the crew's dice, deplete resources, damage the ectomy, or cause module systems to fail. There are lots of events. Deplete resources, success. damage the ectomy, or cause module the systems to fail. Surely that's the same as damaging, but anyway. Um, learning which events to let carry over. I suspect this is going to be learning by failing. It is a lot of learning <laughs> by failing. See, the things are not quite... <laughs> they're not quite the same, because... You can either cause immediate damage to the spaceship or have things fail, which isn't quite the same thing. Yeah. So how much food do we have? And how much how badly we do we need more food? We'll start with one, but this will end and we'll go into a proper game. Um, right. So at every turn, not only does your spaceship start blowing up, but it also gives you a decision that you have to make. So with the guy who says that we're stupid we can either give him two more dice but increase his stress levels or mm. we can give the woman on the right hand side we can create some food for the ship as a whole but it would damage the ship so in the top sure. left hand corner there you can see there's a bit of a a bit of damage i am assuming that's us doing something like opening the door to let in the fresh air yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly the sort of thing we would do so I would always personally take the extra dice because without them, we will die immediately. Yep, again, learning from one deck dungeon, there is no thing such as too many die. No, exactly, and there really isn't in this because those numbers, those fours, no. It's going to be 24, it's going to be 34, it's going to be, oh my god, you've got to be joking. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we've got people in, in, in the chat in Twitch. Uh, KAJ says, don't fail. Um, <laughs> I'm going to disappoint you on that one. Um, Mark, Mark in YouTube says, Poundland spaceship. <laughs> that had occurred to me, yes. It, it, yeah, possibly, well, we could make it a name, see if we can get this up to maybe an Argos spaceship. <laughs> KAJ also says, the chemist needs to stay alive to find a cure. Uh, not so Dark Lord says, I'd like to go to Mars, but not if it requires me to roll dice all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Astragali, I, I noticed, has been playing some Tharsis. He says, hello. Excellent. So, uh, so yeah. Maybe a source of good advice. <laughs> if you want to talk directly to Rob, he's in Twitch. Somebody's just said to me, why is he not in YouTube as well? Because um, he isn't. <laughs> I, I've yet to be that organised. Give me time, people, and one day, <laughs> one day, miracles may happen. <laughs> so if you want a passage message to Rob, then you will either need to tell me to do it, or you can go on to Twitch and have a chat with him yourself. So let's give two dice to our botanist so these are worth three dice these packages so as it's the tutorial i'll just show you that uh, musgrave is going to be go up to five dice which doesn't happen very often um <laughs> <laughs> and um, and it's quite useful to have food, and you can when generate begins, some food. It's best to take in the entirety of the situation before rushing to action. Seeing everything right. from a bird's eye okay. view will allow you to develop a solid strategy. In this situation, Cross should be able to take care of the system failure in the pantry. But first, let's have Musgrave. So now we have to. Well, I suppose we could tackle so both if we wanted to. It's getting the order correct because there are certain um, people like the doctor who if you want if you need everybody to get a health point you'd put her in last you'd send her in and then you've got the like people like the mechanic who might be better at fixing things so it's less dangerous to get around the spaceship it, there are quite a number of variables to hold in your head and think through one deck's a little bit actually a little bit simple compared to this so i'm beginning to get that impression already <laughs> yeah we have to think through is a bit of the ship gonna blow up is a system gonna fail is somebody super stressed is somebody got no health is somebody got a skill that might help once we've done all the repairs it's all that kind of thing um mm. and it's really interesting astragali in youtube says <laughs> crystal crow and i refer to this game as delicious meats i'm not <laughs> 
Yeah, I think you're going to have to explain that one, Master I'm, I'm, I'm worried that is a cannibal reference. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah. Moving on. Of, <laughs> yes, um, I think that's people taking an alternative approach to food generation. <laughs> Okay then, so, um, I'm trying to shove that image out of my head. Astragali says Rob is on the money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slightly worried about myself too. <laughs> I've, I've not had to resort to it yet, but let's see what happens. Um, right, so I'm going to roll these dice so we can repair this directional airflow sensor warning. And, oh look, I've got Rob disease. Pardon? Oh, so what we it's can do that's quite special what i can do is like put all my ones in there but okay i've also got a roll left so i might as well just roll them all again and see whether anything better happens which it did got you so i'm going to use my six to repair but i can use two threes or two ones to get mm. a load of dice because she needs one more dice and there's no harm in me using these dice so I'm just going to get her up to top dice. Right. We can now fix the system failure in the pantry to get food distribution up and running again. Move across there now and take care of it. So I pick up cross and go to system fail tank inspection. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> My pantry has been critically damaged, which is horrific. Space mice. <laughs> Uh-oh, Astragali says it's buffering. No, 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 we can't have that. That would be horrendous. If it's really, really bad buffering, then I'll just, I'll come off and we'll start again. Because we do have the yep. extra variable tonight of... Having a have to Discord chat in the background as well. <laughs> so. Of course, yeah. Just to, as I said, multitasking people. It's impressive. I'm just gonna knock off my stream previewy thing just in case that's causing any problems. Okay, so in the meantime, I can repair this benzene link. Le sorry, benzene tank Each leak. Also has their own specialty, and their abilities can be used to help the crew fulfill the mission. Place qualifying values in the character ability Yep, so that seemed fairly straightforward that time. Ah, but then you can use a single die to regain the food. I can. So, I'm going to do that. In actual fact, um, with this guy, I've got game food on the, on the right-hand side, and I've mm. got game food on the left-hand side as well. Now click on finish to play. Brilliant, so... So either. In fact, both. Both, look! I was going to say, yeah, excellent. Got all the food now. Indeed, we've plundered the pantry whilst we've repaired it. Hmm, it looks like we do have a buffering issue here. Damn it. Right, what I'm going to do, actually, and I'm sorry to those in YouTube, I'm going to, might do this Twitch only, um, because that will stop that problem. But my pantry's just blown up. But we just repaired it. <laughs> it seems a little perverse. Okay, right, we're going to start proper now, but I am worried about this buffering business. So what I am going to do is, if I restart the stream altogether, that means the YouTube event is going to end and if because youtube's terrible with multiple events if i yeah let's do that because i don't want buffering so i'm going to stop this just for a moment and i'm going to come back just in twitch astragali says right. welcome back so obviously we are through <laughs> <laughs> excellent back to the spaceship that makes battlestar galactica look like the orville <laughs> <laughs> it's Craptacular. Uh, your new goal, survive. Well, <laughs> yes. 
The worst thing is, though, that micrometeoroids have destroyed the pantry. So it's been trolling you all this time, believing that the pantry was okay, because it isn't. It's permanently dead. Right. So we're, we're already immediately into trying to set up a new pantry, I'm assuming. Um, no. Unfortunately, the pantry is dead. <laughs> right, so we're just straight into cannibalism. There's, there's <laughs> no... No, we've no, the, we've got the option of generating some food if we if we can. That, so that's good to know. Don't that's, immediately that's descend. What I'm to, <laughs> don't immediately descend to a lack of humanity. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So it looks like we're back online uh, in Twitch at least. The spaceship. I'm not so sure about. So, so need to think this through. The mechanic and the captain and the commander are not super healthy. So it would makes sense to potentially bring the doctor in last but the doctor hasn't got many dice and the captain can give people plus one die so now my head starts to hurt as to what order to put people in but so i would the captain suggest... has to come in after to generate that plus one die yes as far hmm. as i'm aware that's that seems to be how it works um you'll notice as well we have some research things down here that we can start working towards um and this doesn't mean um points on the die it just means number of right so we are literally going to research duct tape <laughs> yes you wouldn't believe how useful that is <laughs> I would actually. It's um, having lived in a few houses where duct tape is probably about twenty percent of the house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'd suggest potentially, we're never. This isn't going to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But what I would suggest <laughs> is putting the mechanic to fix the meteor strike, the meteoroid strike first, so that we can mm -hmm. potentially get plus one hull, um, okay. and potentially also fix this it would have to be a slightly lucky roll but well, let's give it a try so a catastrophic event has occurred an unknown object has struck the ship exceeding 55,000 miles per hour causing extensive damage I'm glad for that confirmation is it's, it's extensive <laughs> so let's roll and see what horrors happen oh oh I have exactly eight. No, I don't. I have seven. I can't count. <laughs> so with this five, I can either start the repairs or I can increase, increase assists, which fills this little meter up in the top, which stops hazards from happening. Or I can add one to the hull. But I would suggest that for the time being, we, there, we just repair it and start the repair. Yep. And then... I re-roll my two because two is crap. Gotcha. And instead, I have got a six. So now I've got multiple decisions to make. <laughs> um, mm. I can either do some repairs or get somebody else to come in later and repair it. Or I can add some, some to the hull or I can increase assists or start researching stuff. But I would prefer, I think, not to start researching stuff for the time being. Hmm. It's quite a low roll to finish repairing it. It seems a pity to waste that six on it. Yeah, it it, um, it does. Possibly boost the hull a bit and That's get somebody else to drop in. I'm thinking that as well. Let's do that. So, that means that whoever comes in next has only got to get three and somebody over here has got to get nine. So the commander and the captain both have quite a lot of dice. But I could really do with the captain attempting to give the mechanic a bit more. So, mm. um, I'm thinking commander to the ICP fail. Yep. Um, just to check the portrait. Oh, oh you're breaking up. Oh no, the internet must be awful tonight. Apologies, I'll just try that again. Um, the tabs to the right. No, I've lost you again, unfortunately. Hmm. Nuts. It's because it's space. <laughs> it's 
space, no one can hear you stream. <laughs> you do know that's going to be the name of this now. <laughs> I can live with that. There's worse things. Right, see if you can give me that message again. <laughs> Over. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, just asking about the coloured tabs to the right hand side of the portraits uh, Yes, that's health Health, so what's on the left hand side? That's stress Right, okay, got you um, But no, I think the commander in the sys fail, the ICP fail Sounds like a good plan, particularly if we can use the captain to either boost the doctor or the mechanic that's what I'm thinking. Let's do that. Okay. Right. This is going to cost some health, unfortunately. I don't know. Is actually ah ah right. We need to fix the me the if I fix the meteoroid strike, I th don't think it will cost any money to get any health to go to the ICP failure. So get the captain in there first. Yes. Okay. Unless we get the doctor in there first, because then the captain has a chance of um, giving people extra dice. Right, okay. Let's move her in. Oh, that's going to cost... Get... Oh, no, she's... Oh, she can't. Right, okay, get the captain in. Get the captain in. He's right. the only person who can get in without getting destroyed. Okay. So, El Capitan can repair this, at least. So that's a good start. So now, with my one Just remaining roll, I really need a five of some description out of these. That would be very nice. I feel I feel like I'm spoiling it slightly. I don't know whether you want to hear me say that I got a five. Or <laughs> it's absolutely fine. <laughs> Try really hard to cope with the lag <laughs> here. Right, anyway, I got a five. So I would suggest that we just immediately give everybody a dice. Yes. I think um, that would be really and then the one, there's a sort of Yahtzee type thing going on at the bottom where I can shove that at the bottom. Let's use it. And we get if some it's spare. duct tape, which is <laughs> surprisingly <laughs> useful. I also like the idea of stimulants. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> the idea that, you know, maybe we just break out the Haribo. <laughs> but that was, that's quite an innocent thing to think. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this PG, possibly a 12A. <laughs> so the commander, <laughs> the commander can now go to the ICP fail without getting owned. Right, with the additional full repair, um, I'll find out how this works. Yep. So the, I find the commander really useful because the commander only needs to roll a one to do four repair. Right. Excellent. So unfortunately, <clears throat> um, on that roll, because six is a void, my dice has disappeared. Why on earth are six is void? Um, because it's just decided that they are. <laughs> and since when has turning it off and on again ever failed to work? <laughs> <laughs> right, well at least we've got that one that you we were did. talking about. So I can immediately put that in and get four repair, and then I have a choice here. I can either roll both dice again and hope to get a five and something I can put in the research projects but whilst risking a dice going into the void or I can just repair it. Ooh, interesting. Because <laughs> that would be enough for a quick patch on the hull as well, wouldn't it, the two? It would. But, but it would leave this unrepaired. Mm. Probably, again, better off getting the basics repaired. I agree. Let's do that. Because then we could use the medical bay. So our event is complete. And what you will see is now the medical bay is OK again. And that means that if we have a spare five, if somebody rolls a spare five in this room, their health can be recovered to full, which is really, really helpful. Right. I have to ask this now. Do we get the same comedy illnesses as in Theme Hospital? 
<laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, it's, missed it's, trick. Health is just caused by the spaceship blowing up largely. <laughs> I take it this is just a day out of its warranty. <laughs> no, I, I would totally send this back. It's just a piece of crap. <laughs> Uh, Wacka Wacka Wobble says, I'll just put this over here with the rest of the fire. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> so, the Doctor now, the obvious place for the Doctor to go, because she can now go anywhere, is to the module with the mechanic and the captain in it, because we have a chance now of rolling that dice and getting a five or a six, or just a five, potentially, and um, and making them a bit healthier. Great. Paputin says food. Always more food. Even if even if it's not an option, still more food. <laughs> I like where this we could end up with a lot of one legged astronauts. <laughs> now because this room has been repaired, we're not in danger of any or voids or stases or anything stupid going on. We can just roll in peace. Brilliant. <sighs> Oh, I roll. rolled a four. <laughs> well, I have another roll, so I could have a chance at a five or a six here. Arm. And failing that, we may get something we can dump into research projects. Oh, so, so nearly a six. Unfortunately, I got two, so it's going to have to go into research projects. Well, that gets us the quick patch. It does, actually. It does get us the quick patch. We could use that now to up the hull a bit so we don't have to think about it later, or we can use it in an emergency later on. Might as well use it now. Um, it's cumulative, so I'm not sure what the point in keeping it is. Let's do it. I, so I, I can see the d duct tape, but... Uh, our replacement would be to get all six dice for a 28 repair on one module. Ooh. Okay, yes, that would be very nice. So, here we go. Impending damage. I suspect I'm going to be seeing a lot of that. <laughs> yep. Mood is turning sour. So we have our first choice here. We can either get go down the Paputin route of just getting food, but we'll take away a dice from Packle because they can only have they can have minimum of one die. Kayla can't lose her her final one. Right. Or we can get a couple of assists, but it's the minus the one hull that we just gave ourselves. Assists are very useful because it means that we can't be sucked into the void, but If assists are as useful as you say, it might be good to build them up a bit. Well, we've got one food, so we can give Kayla some dice anyway. And if we took the food... Nah, I think the assists... If I'm honest, yes, I think the assists, because the voids are horrible, and I hate them passionately. Right. Let's give it a go. We can always get some food the next time, he says optimistically. <coughs> you wish. We'll probably never see food again now. <laughs> yeah, that's so much for the Mars bar down the back of the crash pad. <laughs> so, Kayla is useless, so I would suggest that we give her the food, not least because if she does doctory stuff, it gives us more of a chance of her doing doctory stuff. Yeah, better chance of getting those fives that we need. So, I th by the sounds of it, somebody's broken the toilet. <laughs> that sounds... yep, waste fail. That just conjures images <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> so if we don't repair the waste fail, then everybody loses a health point. If we don't repair the SSU voltage, our hull gets damaged. I'd be more worried about the health point, if I'm completely honest. Well, yeah, I mean, the captain's clinging on as it is. So we can't do both. We can do both, it's just what order we do them in, because... Right. 
I I would tackle the health first, like in, you. In that Otherwise case, shall we put the, the commander with the full repair into into the <laughs> into the block toilet? <laughs> Deploy the space plunger. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to the locked toilet. Um, <laughs> that could have been a lot worse in the graphic depiction. In this one, if we roll a one, we'll lose a health point, and that's that stacks. So, if we get, I think, um, and if we roll a three, the dice has to stay as a three, which isn't the end of the world. Okay, off we go then. Actually, I have to admit, um, have you come across a book called Lady Astronaut? I have not. I'll have to look up the author. Um, really good bit of sort of um, alternative history sci-fi, where the Earth is hit by a meteorite, it is going to end, the only opportunity is for the 1950s planet to pull together and, and set up life on Mars. Um, so imagine the moon landings happening 10 years earlier and it goes on from there and that does include quite an in-depth exploration of what happens when toilets go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrendous. It is, but it is actually a really good book. I will try and look up who wrote it. It's well worth reading. That might not be one I tracked down in an enormous hurry. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of it's far better. Anyway. <laughs> yes, right. sorry, slightly That's sidetracked. Okay. Um, we got an assist on the one because we have three assists, which is why assists are so useful. So the one has not done us any damage and we can use it to get full repair. And then we actually have ten left, which means we can we can repair the toilet. And I think that is probably not a terrible idea, but then again, he could regain some dice if we got somebody else to come in and repair the toilet as well. Mm. And we've got three people. Mm. Um. Personally, I'd quite like the dice. Yep, okay. Let's uh, regain some dice. There we go. So the toilet's looking slightly less horrific now. It's semi-blocked. <laughs> <laughs> But the good thing is that the commander now has four dice, which is way better than two. So, oh, I w thank you to Wacka Wacka Wobble, who I think might be Mr. Weed Wacky, who's just subscribed with tier one. Thank you. Brilliant. Um, right, who are we sending down the toilet? <laughs> hmm. Who doesn't the captain like the look of? <laughs> um, well, mm, slightly awkward. Possibly the mechanic. I was thinking, well, <sighs> bit tricky because what we really want is the doctor to be healing either. Yeah. The cap, and I'd say it's the captain who needs it more. So perhaps send the mechanic to finish repairing it. Mm hmm. Uh, and then see if we can get the captain and the doctor together. I'm good with that. So let's deploy the mechanic to the toilet. Sorry, just a pop up here. Um, future gaming. Uh, you're aware of Inkle, who um, did yep. 80 days. We've done. Uh, we've done um, Inkle's sort of Steve Jackson sorcery streams before now on here. Right. Well, they've just. Um, of course, yes. I've, I think I played the first one of those. And I may have the second one somewhere and not played it. They've just confirmed that their upcoming game is an Arthurian adventure called Pendragon. Does it involve dice? <laughs> Unfortunately not, but ah. it does involve reclaiming Camelot from the rascally Sir Mordred. <laughs> um, and if it's got anything like the kind of story generation of 80 days, um, that could be very good. That sounds really cool, because, uh, spoiler to anybody who's come tonight, we're going to do 80 days at some point. 
That sounds good. A little bit more information here. Apparently, you have to get the old gang back together. This includes Sir Gawain, who's a bit of a heavy drinker, <laughs> Morgana Le Fay, who can't resist a nice bit of treachery, and Sir Lancelot, who is primarily defined by being French, it seems. <laughs> I think we're entering the territory of Monty Python here. A nice sexist, racist... Uh... <laughs> Yep. It's, uh, it may or may not involve blueberries and hamsters. <laughs> we shall have to wait and see. Uh, but Inkle have certainly got uh, got the pedigree to make it worth looking at. Awesome. That sounds really good. If I remember rightly, Heaven's Vault wasn't too expensive either. I've just rolled my dice and I have rolled an awesome couple of dice there. That's fantastic. So, so... obviously, repairing a boost to the hull or... Oh, but this guy needs dice. Uh, oh no, because it's not a, it's not a five. It's not a five. Unless we roll again for a five. Ooh, ooh. Hull or attempt at dice. <sighs> yeah, I would think hull actually because the the likelihood mm. of me rolling a five is <laughs> zero. <laughs> With me here, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Plus one hull, which will help us later on. And we can yep. finish our deployment because he did really well there. So that leaves us with um, needing a repair to the SSU voltage. The question is whether we want to we want to do that. I know it sounds like a bit of a strange thing to say. Um, whether we want the doctor to be able to get to everybody, but I think probably the. Um, I would that yeah, it's probably more important to to repair the spaceship. Funky electrics are not a good thing in space. Okay, I am deploying El Capitan. We need fifteen repair points, and we could actually do a further hull repair if I can roll some matching dice here. So let's mm. see what happens. Okay. So, to fix the sequential shunt unit voltage safing fails, which, which I know all about, um, I've managed to roll a 6, a 4 and a 3, which would be most of the repair, but I've also rolled enough to potentially give him an extra dice. I'm just going for the 7. Um, I mean, the Doctor's got a good few die at the moment, so... You could have them swan in, although you will want to keep a five aside for boosting the health. That's a point, yeah. Um Okay. Shall we shall we just shall we shall we just repair or I'm, I'm leaning towards that and that'll boost the chance of actually getting some health fixed. Let's do it. Okay, I am repairing now and that leaves us with only Two left, which is great. I'm hoping you've caught up with me. Mm, not quite. Yep, I have. Okay, good. I've actually just put my um, little um, what's it called? Um, <laughs> my monitor, my monitor on. So because I was, I turned my monitor off because I think it's interfering with my frame rate. So if any any if any more <clears throat> problems start with the stream, let me know because it's proving not very good to have the monitor running as well, which is a bit frustrating. Right, okay, let's get the doctor into the voltage module thing then. Yeah, my monitor's actually lagging. And I don't know whether it's lagging it's because the stream is lagging for you or whether it's just my monitor that's lagging. So I'm going to turn that back off again. And you'll just have to tell me when things have happened. <laughs> have I lost you as, as well, Rob? No, I'm still here. Apologies. Um, that's okay. Just keeping an eye on things. So I have rolled the dice. And you've got that all important five. I have. Now that's going to give health point to the captain and it would also allow us to repair um, 
and potentially shove a dice into research projects for some duct tape. Yep, never a bad thing. You can't have too much duct tape. So I'm going to repair with the two wands. I'm going to give some health to the captain and I'm going to do a research project for duct tape, which we can use later on. Yeah, forgive me, chaps. We're just having a bit of trouble tonight because I'm streaming. I was streaming to YouTube and Twitch and we've got a call going on in the background with Discord and it seems to be playing hell <laughs> with this frame rate. Mm. And I don't know why. I'm assuming the Internet's probably rubbish as well at the moment. But it's all right. By next week, we'll be experimenting with semaphore. <laughs> Don't believe her. Don't believe her. <laughs> Don't believe her. Don't believe her. It's rubbish. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you have also reached the decision. Yes. So we can either have plus one food or increase everybody's stress by 30%, which means that Nikki and Jean are going to be quite stressed. Or... We can give everybody a dice, but take a health point off everybody. Ooh. That's going to leave a lot of our cosmonauts pretty poorly. Yeah, it is. I'm thinking they might be able to deal with the stress, because if we take the food, we can give our mechanic more food. Yes. And the toilet's unblocked. That will help with the stress. Yeah. <laughs> That always helps with the stress. Okay, let's do that then. Let's 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 make for Putin's day by getting some extra food. Yeah, because quite frankly, the other approach just sounds like cooking for students. <laughs> when the smoke alarm goes off, it's done. Okay, I'm going to give the food package to the mechanic. Um, we've still got three assists, which is great. Um, that's going to help hugely because it means we're not going to have any horrendous, horrible accidents, or at least not as many horrendous, horrible accidents, so that's good. Now who's being an optimist? <laughs> so, it's time to find out what horrific damage has been caused to our ship, which seems to be like the weakest ship known to man. Um... We Are we have... just driving it through meteor fields? I think we might be. We've got a meteor meteorite strike in the food generation area and we've got a system failure and target loss in the whatever that is because I can't remember what it is in the in the end bit. That's like the launch module that goes to Mars. So That right. is kind of necessary. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so our hull is actually really good. We're not too bad on that. So good. is there some way here that we could use skills... I am so just lagging badly behind you at the moment. Oh, I'm that's still frustrating. Not on the ship, ship view, I'm afraid. You're not on the ship um, view. Nope. God, it's really, really laggy tonight. It's uh, still having just. It seems to have hung. Actually, I'm afraid. Oh no, drat! How is it for everybody else? Um, let me stop and start again because we're just streaming in Twitch. I can just stop and start again. And hopefully... Okay, I can see the ship. Terrific. 23, that's quite a high repair rate. Yeah, that's not even the highest that we're going to get. Lovely. So we need to work out kind of what the lag is like. So what I will do is I'll move the mechanic into the meteoroid strike now and we'll count the seconds lag. <laughs> One, two, three, and I'm four. in there with you. Brilliant, it's working. Lovely, yep. lovely. That Left. seems to be going quite well. Excellent. So, what do we have? Mm, mm. That's horrible. The only thing we'd that's get out of that is food. The only thing we would get out of that is food. Um, chuck the five in on the repair and re-roll the others. Um, yeah, okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think might just have to bung it into the repair here. Yep. Oh, it's saying I've got problems again. This is clearly 
an internet issue. It has been very flaky over the last couple of days, perhaps not surprisingly. Mm. Yes, and unfortunately, with the real world knocking on my door, I may have to leave you in five minutes, I'm afraid, anyway. Oh, that's okay. I'll carry on mashing this up. <laughs> Excellent. Well, as I said, I'll keep you company for another five. I will um, see if we can at least keep them live that long. Okay, so... Um... We've got a commander who is really good at repairs. We've got a captain who can give everybody a dice, potentially, and a doctor who might be able to give people health. So, nah. We've, hmm, we've got it down to 12. So I'd suggest the commander might be a bit overkill. So are we suggesting that the commander should go into the... Um, oh, actually, the commander would have to go into the module after we've repaired the meteoroid strike mm. with everybody else. So, maybe... Well, it'd be a bit of a gamble. You could try putting the captain and the doctor in the module. Yep, which one first? Um, captain first. And... Because ultimately, with all those divers, if we can get it repaired, and then we can use the doctor to give both the mechanic and the captain some extra health, and possibly even snatch a bit of extra food. Hopefully. Hey, I'm good at overreaching. <laughs> okay. So, two boars. That could that would actually get us one food, but I think the repair is probably more important. Yes, and get the doctor in. That way, we're guaranteed to finish the repair, and then hopefully, if we're lucky, we can do do some work on the health. Okay. So I've just brought the doctor in, which hopefully you can now see. I uh, can. I've managed to roll enough to repair and to give everybody a health point, or to give the captain a health point, anyway. And the mechanic. Brilliant. Yep. That is pretty useful. Nice. That wasn't a bad little roll there. So what we've got left is the commander, who is going to have to go and deal with the target loss. Yes. And is this... Was how the good ship ended up going round and round in circles. <laughs> okay, so I have unfortunately managed to void one of these, but I don't think it matters because with one of these five, with all of these fives and the duct tape, we've done the repair. Yeah. Duct tape to the rescue. Get in. <laughs> that is satisfying. Okay, and after all of that work, you know what's going to happen now, don't you? No! Don't! Oh, impending damage! It's decision time. So... This time, it's minus 40% stress for all crew, but also minus one dice for all crew. Yes. Mm. Or it's plus one dice for all crew, but minus one health. And if you think that I'm taking minus one dice for all crew... I was going to say, I think I, the, with the extra health work we've done, I think we we might want to try and get the commander healed a bit this, this time around. Yeah, I'd agree if we manage it. Right, in that case, everybody get You get a dice, and you get a dice. Dice for everyone. And you get a dice. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> Astragali says it's time for delicious meats, but we <laughs> might just have enough here not to have to do that for the time being. Sorry to disappoint at this early stage. <laughs> we're, not, we're, not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. No. Not yet. So, it's damage time, and actually that is nowhere near as bad as it can sometimes be. So, I think the mechanic can and that can only go to the broken CWP, whatever that is, because the commander could not get there without mm. 
uh, some health problems because they'd have to pass through damage module. Yep. So perhaps use mechanic, and if we have to, the captain. Okay. That could have been a lot worse. So, we could actually get some food here if we use the other points for repairing. Mm -hmm. Or we can shove it all into repair and nearly repair the condensate water processor, which has caused a breach in the greenhouse. Oh, I worry about you people. <laughs> stop talking about eating astronauts. Just stop it. <laughs> um, I'd hmm. suggest that we do some repairs with the six and the four, but we get some food with the two threes. Yeah, let's give that a go. Astronaut Ovant. Just stop this. Just stop this now. Stop it. It's wrong. Oh dear. Okay, right. Doctor to the uh, to the greenhouse. <laughs> uh oh. I, I won't make a comment about boiling the bag astronaut then. No, don't don't do that. <laughs> right. I've just rolled enough points to repair it and get some food. If that's okay with everybody. Uh, yeah, let's disappoint them by getting some food. Okay, right, so now the captain and the commander are going into the MDM recovery. So I'll send the commander in first because the captain has a possibility of giving an extra dice to both of them. So, we get to go for another round on Space Kale. <laughs> Ow! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! He, um, I hate to tell you this, guys. Um, he's dead. You're fried, you com the commander. Oh. He's dead. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Well, that's been a we, we didn't even get to contribute anything to the repair beforehand, that. Nope. Yeah. He's dead. Right. <laughs> fine. Not fine, but... I mean, we can actually take take the damage, you know. We could take the damage and try and give everybody an extra dice. But equally... <laughs> Captain's looking a little bit stressed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really, not really shocked. Um, we've got loads of food actually, so let's this, let's use. This didn't the... really come up in agile management methodology. Ah, <laughs> oh, did right. Let's let's deploy him. Let's deploy him. Oh, I've received oh, I've received over a hundred messages today with restream chat. All of them about eating astronauts. <laughs> and cheese. Thanks. <laughs> Are you going to cooking asparagus? Well, <laughs> what isn't? <laughs> Are you having to um, are you having to hit the escape button here? Yep, I'm heading for the ejection pod. <laughs> I'll um I can either carry on this mission or we can return at a time when the internet's better. I am happy to do whatever suits. Um but it it has been a pleasure. It's been good fun beginning to to figure out this. It's uh, obviously got a few more intricacies and but yes, it satisfies my taste for, for ludicrous deaths and, <laughs> quite frankly, humiliating failure. What that says about me, I don't really care to consider. Um. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to do this this final thing, I think. Um, <laughs> and then I'll have a little vote in the chat as to whether they want me to carry on or whether to move on to something else. So, um, one last decision then would be, do we want to put all of these points into that repair? Does it uh, roll on to the next turn to try and fix? Yes. I think that might be a good idea because we're down a crew member. We are. Right, let's do some fixing then. Okay, lovely. Thank you very much, Rob. It, much appreciated. It's been a pleasure. I've really enjoyed that. I look forward to uh, joining the SS Leaking Lena once again. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll save it here so we can come back and, and finish it off. Um, and then also I can start 
jack boxing. So I think I need to finish the deployment and we need to look what damage and then I think I can save after that. Right, take care everyone and I'll look forward to joining you again. Who's transmitting this signal? I don't know who is transmitting this signal. We don't know. Or is the message coming from someone else? Da, da, da. Right, I do need to save this. How the heck do you save? Where's my options menu? Oh, I'll let you go, Rob, and then I'll f <laughs> figure it out with this lot. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, thank you for joining me, and uh, au revoir. Right, how, everybody, how the heck do I save? How do I save? Because what we'll do is we'll save it, and then we can restart on Jackbox and hope that the internet is a little bit less rubbish. So does anybody know how to do this? Do I have to wait to get past the... Um... Do I have to wait to get past this decision? Escape? No, I'm trying escape. I'm trying escape and it's not escaping. Hmm. Is it in view ship? Is there an options menu? No. Please don't tell me I can't save. That would be horrendous. I know I can save because I've saved before. Maybe I have to choose a side project. So we can have a couple of assists but make people a bit more stressed. Or we can have one assist but take some damage. And oh, I'm going to stress them out. There we go. I'm also going to give food to these people here. And then we're going to have a couple of new events. But, aha, there we go. Save and quit. I rashly accept. Good. Right, I will be back in a moment with Jackbox. Get your mobile devices out. And we'll have uh, a bit of wit and humour or not.